Hello and welcome. This is a decoupage and ombre paint makeover. My name is Melissa. I'm with the Top Drawer RVA located in Richmond, Virginia. Today we're going to learn how to upcycle a beautiful waterfall dresser. This is a gorgeous waterfall art deco dresser. It's structurally sound but needed some small repair work along the bottom. Follow along while I show you how to use some simple power tools, some wood, some glue, and wood filler to fix some small veneer problems. The veneer on old dressers tends to come loose on the side. It happens when people push it across the floor or veneer loosens over time. Using a putty knife, you can remove any loose pieces in order to prep for paint. You can also use wood filler or any kind of wood filler-like product to fix any damages along the sides. After your wood filler has dried, sand it smooth so that there's no lumps or bumps when you're ready to apply your paint. I also use small pieces of trim along with pieces of MDF board to rebuild the sides of this dresser. Since the veneer at the base of the dresser was very damaged and pulling up from the sides, I decided to cover with the MDF board and the trim. Once it's dried, you can also use any other wood filler to fill in any small holes or any veneer issues on the sides or tops of the dresser. Now that you've repaired all of your veneer issues and sanded your piece lightly, you're finally ready for paint. I use a couple different types of Dixie Belle paint products. I use Plum Crazy, In the Navy, Muscadine Wine, and Aubergine. I started this paint project with Plum Crazy. I covered the entire wood surface with Plum Crazy and then got ready to blend in my Aubergine. After the Plum Crazy was dry, the Aubergine was used to highlight the edges. Once you have your final base coat down, you're ready to start your blending. Using a separate brush for each color, Plum Crazy, Aubergine, and In the Navy, you're going to keep your spray mist bottle handy. When you spray mist your bottle onto the dresser, you're going to be able to easily blend your paints together. I use the In the Navy at the base in order to darken and age the edges. I use Plum Crazy in the middle, and it was all highlighted by Aubergine. Using your spray mist bottle, keep your brushes wet and separate in each color. This way when you're blending, you can pull each color together. I then removed the hardware and also sprayed it with a metallic gold spray paint. Take your napkins and take the three ply down to one ply. You're going to cut out each individual butterfly as close to the edge as possible. Using Mod Podge, you're going to adhere them to the front of the dresser using a small brush. Once your Mod Podge has dried, you might be left with a small ring of glue around the butterfly. Don't worry, when you clear wax, it should disappear. I sealed this piece with multiple types of wax. The entire surface was completed with clear wax. Once the clear wax was dried and buffed, I went in with black wax and gold gilding wax in warm gold to highlight any of the edges and curves. The butterflies were accented with gilding wax as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'm including a link in the comments below where you can purchase your own Dixie Bell paint. 